guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 70. And um, I just want to apologize for any mic difficulties we've had this week. I'm trying my hardest to work it out. Um, hopefully it's fixed in this episode. If not, you will see like annotations and stuff up on the screen. Anyway, we're going to be using the, the same sand offense team, ending it off for the week. Uh, I, believe we lo I believe we've lost twice so far this week. I could be mistaken, but I do think it's only twice. We did have that battle versus that stall team yesterday. But anyway, this guy's using smash pass offense, which is scary. Um, with this as a lead, and immediately when I see that as a lead, I know I want to lead Tyranitar. Um, because I can just click pursuit turn one. Does pursuit do enough damage? I think it does. Um, because the goal is to bring it down to its sash. Um, I'm actually gonna calc it real quick and uh, see if I can, see if I can do the thing. Um, Tyranitar, not a uh, yeah, we'll go you uh, Dragon Dance because um, I'm adamant actually. Uh, versus Azelf, Azelf, you you suicide lead. Uh, how much is Pursuit gonna do? Pursuit is gonna do 67 to 80. So Stone Edging is my better play. And, uh, t did I click Stone Edge or Stealth Rock? I, I click Stone Edge, good. Uh, anyway, um, he'll probably just reflect right here, because I'd imagine that he screens. Yeah, he is. Um, so I get off s not a lot right there. That's bad. Um, and I actually have Defog Latios, Ladio though. So I'm going to click Pursuit right here, um, because it should bring him down relatively low and in the range where, um, I may be able to uh, sort this whole issue out, um... He goes for the taunt right here. Good play, um, as I just pursuit again. And uh, right here, I think I can just go out into my Excadrill, maybe. Um, actually, no, there, there's like no sense in me switching at this point. Um, he's probably just going to go for the explosion. Uh, he may actually light screen, though. Um, so I'm going to click pursuit right here, uh, just in case he does uh, click light screen, which I'm kind of anticipating him to do. Uh, he just actually gets up his rocks, which is nice. Uh, nice for him, that is. <laughs> um... I don't like anything on his team having plus two plus two plus two uh, Lando is probably the scariest thing to be honest Because um, then it just completely outruns my entire team uh, But he goes into Gorbis right here, and I'm gonna go straight out into Latios And the reason I'm going into Latios is because I can click defog get these screens away and uh, Then click Draco versus whatever comes out because clicking Draco versus whatever comes out like inherently forces him into um, Do I click Draco now? Yeah, I think I'm clicking Draco now. Because what this forces him to do is it, 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 wow, I can't talk all of a sudden. It inher inherently forces him to go out into something to resist or take a Draco. He ends up going for the sub. That's lame. Um, that's bad. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna click Psy Shock right here, I think. Um, because I can't afford to let him pass a sub. Uh, even if I break, just break the sub on the switch. I think uh, his best play right here would be passing out into Metagross, but Smash Pass does look very scary, um, especially to my team. Break, it fades. Nice. So I can continuously break his subs right here. Um, so I'm going to go for the Defog. Is that the best play? Um, I want to see, because I want to Defog away um, the rocks on my side of the field in his screen. Um, and I think he'll just pass here, considering... Um, he will die if he subs down again. Yeah, I'm gonna defog. Because I think it's a really bad play if he um, does anything other than pass. So I'm just clicking defog. Um, hopefully, yeah, he baton passes. So this is good. This is very good. Because he's going out into Metagross, I think. Um, if he goes out into Landorus, then I'm gonna be so mad. Um, but I don't think he will. He goes out into Metagross. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna defog. Stat drop is blocked. But uh, these things are cleared from the field, which works out well for me. Because uh, I can just click Draco right here, then I can T-Wave him, and then begin the destruction of Scarf Drill versus his team. Um, he will actually outspeed me right here, so that's disappointing. But, uh, that's why I really- Oh, help me, help me, help me. Resisted. Help! <laughs> um, I think I gotta click Draco again. I gotta hope that he misses an attack or something. He'll probably just have Ice Punch. Um... I don't know what my switch for this is. Is there a switch for this? Does one exist on this planet? Um, I'm gonna go out to Metagross and hope he has Hammer Arm, and not Earthquake. Uh, if he has Hammer Arm, I should be able to take one um, because I am very bulky upon Mega Evolution. But I will probably just lose. I didn't expect him to have sub, to be honest. Um, 
He's probably dual stab in one coverage move. He is earthquake. That's so lame. That's so lame. Like, this is garbage. Um, but, you know, Smash Pass, it beats people. Um, I just gotta hope he misses his end headbutt or something. Uh, so, I gotta go out in the Thunderous right here. I'm clicking T-Bolt. Um, if he misses, that's wonderful. If not, then, you know, what you gonna do about it? Um, this is certainly a well-constructed team. I think it's completely stupid and, like, AIDS. But... It's a well-constructed team. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give him. I'll. I will give him credit for that. Like, even though I don't like Dennis, I think you have to give Dennis credit um, because of. Oh, I had this the entire time. Okay. Um, even even if you don't like Dennis, I think you have to give Dennis uh, credit for the innovations that he's made and uh, for really shaping the meta to turn out how it did. But what I should have done was just go out into this and click Earthquake. Um, I completely forgot I had my balloon. Um, that didn't occur to me at all. So, you know, we'll probably grab another one. And, uh, hopefully my audio isn't all messed up throughout all this, because that'd be disappointing. He ends up... Oh my god. Alright. Well, that's a game. <laughs> um, so we're grabbing another one versus Quaz, even though we're, we're like, seven minutes in. But, you know, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Longer episode. Uh, he has a Mega Autono team, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, he gets shredded by Sand Offense. Um, if I can get rid of Manaphy, which shouldn't be too hard considering I have Thunders. He, but he has this, which is mildly troubling. I think he's going to lead with that, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to lead turn one with Specs Keldeo. If he leads with Victini, I won't be too surprised. Uh, just because Victini uh, can do a lot of work to my team, considering it does revenge Mega Metagross fairly nicely. I've also been wanting to try out Agilagross recently. Because uh, Agilagross seems pretty fun, but I don't think it would be as successful as like Rock Polish Mega Dance. Oh, nice. Nice lead matchup. Um, I'm going to Scald turn one as opposed to uh, like going for the Secret Sword. Because if he has Protect, um, I don't want to lose momentum that way. Because that'd be pretty lame. Although, most Glyscores don't run Protect anymore because, um, you know, when you have the option to run other stuff like. Roost. Uh, yeah, he goes into Manaphy right here. I do so, I, I, Nice burn. Okay, he's probably going to Rain Dance right here. I highly doubt he Tail Glows. Um, but I'm going to go out into a Thunderous right here because I can put some more offensive pressure on his team. And actually, his Thunderous switches are pretty limited. Because um, I can just... As long as I click the right move, that is. Um, so I'm going to go out into Thunderous right here as he ends up going for the Rain Dance. But uh, I think he has to switch right here. Um... But T-Bolt plus Focus Blast will knock out Ferrothorn, I think. So I'm going to go for the T-Bolt. And uh, I actually really have to cough, so I'm going to mute my mic uh, real quick. And hopefully I remember to unmute it, because uh, it would be bad if I don't. Anyway, so I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I have returned. Um, you know, uh, hopefully this Focus Blast, well, uh, A, hopefully it hits. B, hopefully it kills. It'd be really unfortunate if it doesn't actually knock out Ferrothorn. Um, I forgot I don't have Ice Punch on this Metagross. I've been playing a lot with Mega Metagross today. I feel like uh, that's going to be the downfall of me eventually because when it inevitably gets suspected, that's going to be bad for me. He goes out in a Glide Score, though, as I end up missing my Focus Blast. So, you know, things could be worse. I don't take an extra round of Life Orb Recoil. Um, that's always nice. So I'm, I'm going to assume he knows that I have HP Ice right here. Um, but I'm just gonna go for it anyway because like I'm in the driver's seat right here I have no reason to predict um, As he ends up pivoting out into his odd right here as that actually took a lot to be honest um, And right here I can just go out to my Metagross actually he has been kind of switching around um, Kind of want to go for the focus blast But you know what I'll go I'll go out to Metagross just just this once uh, just to see what he's gonna try to go into um, what his initial Metagross switch in is going to be, I'm almost a thousand percent sure is going to be this uh, Ferrothorn. Um, but he ends up Mega Evolving, going straight away for the rest. So he is Crodian, or not Crodian, see, Crodino, I think. Um, so I'm just going to go straight back out into Keldeo, because Keldeo does threaten a pretty large majority of his team. And uh, I'm assuming he's going to go out into Ferrothorn right here. And uh, even if uh, he stays in with Ferrothorn as I fire off a Scald. Um, it's not too big of an issue because hopefully I can get a burn as he does end up switching out into Victini. I don't know whether you're scarfed or banded. I'm going to assume you're scarfed. 
Um, and what's my switch? What's my switch? I kind of think he's just going to. Uh, how much do I need, Keldeo? I actually need Keldeo, but I'm going to fire off a Scald anyway. Because I feel like he's going to U-turn right here. Um, he just doesn't stay in at all. As uh, I go for the Scald, and I burn him, which is nice. Because um, I, I get to go at, into T-Tar right here, even though it is a very, very obvious play. Um, trapping this uh, Latias helps me a lot, because then I get rocks up for free the next turn. And it's like, things are going great now. Um, although I highly doubt he uh, lets me do that. He'll probably just double back out into his Ferrothorn or something. Uh, he goes out into his Gliscor, which is cool, meaning this probably has rocks on his team. Um, am I fine trading rocks right here? No, I don't really want to trade rocks. Uh, I'm going to go back out into my Keldeo. Uh, even if he does knock off, it will be really unfortunate. But maybe he was wearing Scarf Keldeo, and that's why he switched. That's a thing to note. Um, he ends up going for the SD right here. Um, hi. <laughs> My name is Keldeo. <laughs> You're about to get blown back. I'm clicking Scald. Uh, I don't think I have any reason not to click Scald right here. Uh, just because it will decimate this Gliscor. It will reveal that I'm Specs. Uh, but he goes out in a Ferrothorn right here. Can I get a burn? No burn. Uh, but I'm fine clicking Scald again. Because uh, I highly doubt he has T-Wave. And um, getting rid of Ferrothorn is very, very helpful for me. Because it stops Mega Metagross and... Uh, Stops Mega Metagross and uh, Excadrill from running a train through his entire team. Um, if he's... I wonder if he's like Taunt, SD, EQ, Glyscore. If that's the case, then I set up on that for free with Excadrill. That's... The more you know. Uh, I'm just going to fire <laughs> another Scald right here. Because if I do get the opportunity to burn this man feet, you know, more power to me, I guess. Um, cause then I can come in with Latios and threaten it out, cause it's more than likely mono attacking. Um, and he ends up going out into his Latios right here, which is fine. Um, he is at a low enough HP that I highly doubt he saves this thing anyway, but I'm gonna go out into my T-Tar, uh, to Pursuit Trap this thing. Um, if he goes out into Gliscor, then it's like, wow, you know, that's kinda lame, but I can deal with it. Um, and... Like, at some point in the match, I will have to sacrifice some momentum to get my own rocks back up. Uh, because, like, getting an extra 12% on... Like, even if they can just recover it off, um, offsetting that recovery is very, very nice. So he ends up going for the Healing Wish. Good play. That's lame, though. <laughs> um, it took a long time to wear that Ferrothorn down. Why do you do this to me? Why? I should have seen that coming. He goes out in a Ferrothorn though, and just heals it back up to full. Hopefully he fears like Fire Blast T-Tar. Um, but I think I can just go ahead and get my rocks up. Actually, no. That, that would be a very poor play. The reason that would be a poor play is because I would just defog them away later. Um, so there's not really any point in doing so. I can just go out into my Keldeo right here. And... Uh, as he makes the good double in a ma er, good maybe <laughs> I'm not quite sure I'm clicking scald that's what I know uh, hopefully he doesn't sleep talk a dazzling gleam hopefully he's hyper voice and he goes for more power um because that's a lot easier for me to wall on my team um he may be trying to lure out my uh, mega metagross right here uh, as I just go for the spec scald do a lot of damage he sleep talks a rest so that's nice um Unfortunately, the sand goes away, uh, so I will not be able to knock him out with this next spec Scald. Um, and the reason I went for Scald as opposed to Hydro is because I didn't want his Ferrothorn coming back in for free. Because uh, as long as I go for Hydro, that gives uh, Ferrothorn an easy opportunity to come back in. Um, so don't sleep talk a Dazzling Gleam. Ah, nice. Didn't even count his rest turns. Uh, so I can just fire off another Scald. He's forced to either sack his Mega right here, which would be very nice. Well, it's, it, it's actually not that nice for me. Uh, considering I can set up on it with Excadrill, um, but, you know, just in general, getting another Mon down, great for me. Um, if he does choose to go out in a Manaphy after uh, this, after I knock him out with the Scald, or if he does just choose to go out into it outright, um, then I will be going into my Latios to Defog, um, because even if he goes out into his Ferrothorn and tries to force me to defog, it's like, you know, I've seen worse. But I can just Scald right here. I do 27%, uh, no burn, but that's fine. Because um, out comes Latios. Um, 
And, you know, I think I can, like, I, I think this match is pretty much under locks. I think I can win this match. Um, just because I don't see him doing, okay, Scald, burn me. <laughs> um, I don't see him doing a whole lot to, uh... Okay, gather yourself. <laughs> I don't see my opponent putting enough offensive pressure on me to where I can lose this game. As he does end up making the double in the by the way. Um, so I can just fire off a, uh... I've gone for Scald every time versus Ferrothorn. Is it worth going for it again? I'm gonna go for the Secret Sword. Um, if he reveals Protect, that's pretty lame. Um, but I actually haven't gone for the secret sword versus yet, so I don't, like, ah, that's, that's really lame, that's unfortunate, um, anyway, out into thunderous, I think, yeah, out into thunderous, um, depending on this thing's spread, I may be able to set up on it with a driller, um, if he's, like, random knockoff, that's kind of bad, um, because... I know that if he, I know that if he is knockoff, then um, I will need to get up to like plus four to beat Glyscor, and maybe have to rely on a flinch, which is dumb. Um, but he ends up making the double out into his Glyscor right here, and uh, I'm gonna go for the. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, focus blast right here. I think. Is that my play? Do I just? No, I'm, just, I'm gonna go for a T bolt. He ain't staying in. He ain't real. Uh, I think he's SD taunt. Uh, he goes out to Manaphy, so Manaphy gets blown back. That's nice. Uh, that and that was like one of his last offensive threats. So that pretty much reveals. To, oh wow. Okay, that probably messed things up. Um, so <laughs> let's have a moment of silence. Um, he goes into Victini right here. I'm just gonna click T wave because um, it makes it a lot easier for me to just. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to kind of play around his team. Paraful para? Nah, it's fine though. He just ends up bolt striking. Um, which means... I don't think he has a move to hit me. SD, EQ, Roost not 100 percent sure um so anyway uh right here i'm going to go out into my keldeo and uh, i'm gonna start clicking scald because <laughs> looking at his scald switch-ins it's just ferrothorn um and if i get the burn on that then it makes it so easy for me to wear down and it's pretty much over if i get the burn right there um so you know um i, I think this was a pretty good session overall it's like far from being over um, because, like, of course I can find a way to choke this away. I probably will. Um, but Victini will die unless it's, like, Sash. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about this week so far. Um, I thought it was a pretty successful round of games this week. Um, I was really disappointed by the audio. Um, it's happened in a couple of my videos so far. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, to be honest. He goes out to Mega Auto now, just sacking it to the skull, which is fine. Um, and I really hope that I can fix these audio issues in the future because, you know, we did hit 300 subs and, and like, I'm very happy about that. Hopefully I will have ha had time to make a video about that and a little update, uh, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm obviously very happy about that. Um, but that skull is not going to do enough. Um, I kind of want to scald again, predicting him to double each seed. But I don't really think I can make that play. Uh, I'm going to go out a lot of yous. <laughs> Despite the fact that I just said I can't make that play, I clicked it anyway. Because um, if he gyros, I think I lose the game. Yeah. That could be a thing. That would happen. Uh, I can go out in a drill. Because I think at this point, um, if he has a move to hit me, he would have revealed it already. And I can just start SDing in his face. Um... And I think when he sees Air Balloon, he may actually forfeit, depending on what we... Power... Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's all sorts of bad. Um, they're probably wondering why I made that switch, and rightfully so. That was a pretty bad play. Um, 
I'm gonna go. Dang, I may not actually win this game. I don't think I need Metagross. I don't think I need Metagross. He'll probably just lead C right here, so it won't even matter. Um, yeah, he just leads Sheeds. Um, so he has Leech Seed, he has Protect, he has Rocks, he has Power Whip. That's his entire moveset. Good. Um, so he know he can't, he, he knows he can't really touch me right here. Um, so I'm actually going to fish for a Meteor, for a Meteor Mash Attack Raise. Um, because if I do get this, oh, he has, what, what, help? Uh, as I'm just going to go for the Meteor Mash right here. Is Focus Blast Metagross a thing? Oh, I just scrolled over to that. Did that stop my recording? Nice. This is a long live, man. Um, PDC is sand. Or I can probably just go to this. Uh, does this actually get Focus Blast? Please get Focus Blast. That'd be so cool. You probably don't. No, you have Hammer Arm, though, so you don't really need it. Um, I'm going to go for the Meteor Mash again. Hopefully he misreads the situation. <laughs> he goes into Glide Score right here. Easy. Um, I get 51% off, but his glide score is going to be healing fast. Um, I think right here I can afford to make the double out into my Excadrill. And uh, hopefully Excadrill can hold it down and uh, not just get entirely blown back. Like It's down to his defensive core, which is just super stupid annoying to break. Uh, he ends up going for the knockoff right here, which is fine. Um, as I'm going to go for the Iron Head. Okay, so the, he has SD, I'm fairly certain he has EQ, and he has either Roost or Taunt in his last move slot. So, I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with that, about that. He can actually beat the rest of my team with this. Uh, I'm going to go for the Iron Head and uh, hopefully knock this thing out. I kind of want to SD on the Switch. Uh, cause that would help me a lot, but, uh, flinch, no flinch, it's okay. Um, cause this just means I go out and kill Leo and I fire off a Spec Scald, I force him out, and if I get the burn on, I, I need the burn on Ferrothorn right here. Getting the burn makes this infinitely easier for me, uh, because it offsets his Leech Seed recovery, and I'm fairly certain he's, um, is he lefties? Yeah, he's lefties. Uh, so he just sends Victini out to die. Good play. Um, so now it comes down to like 50-50s of which move do I click with my Keldeo. If I... See, I don't have enough HP to uh, do the thing that I want to do. <laughs> if that makes any... No, that didn't make any sense at all. Um, I don't have enough HP to uh, have him knock off my specs because that would actually help a lot. Um, unfortunately, that is not available to me. But... He ends up just going for the lead sheet right here, and uh, I can go for the defog. If he goes out into this, I do have Draco. Um, it's a little unfortunate I had a loose drill. Um, I probably should have sacked T-Tar, not drill, but, you know, um, kind of got to pick your battle sometimes. He ends up going for the protect as I just, uh, D that actually blocks defog, that's lame. Um, I'm going to Draco right here. And then I'm going to uh, defog. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to get damage off uh, before I defog. That's a higher priority for me. Um, because if he does go for the power whip right here, I'm fairly certain power whip plus two rounds of leech seed uh, will be able to knock me out. I am confident that his power whip will do 13%. Um, and so Draco will do 43, which is very nice for me. Um, yeah, and plus I have Life Orb, so I will actually die at the end of this turn to a crit, which is actually really nice for me. I I can dig that. Um, I'm just going to go out into Keldeo, though, and I think I have to click Secret Sword. Um, he, of course, has Protect, so he can scout this. Um, but I'm going to click Secret Sword. He's going to be able to see that I click Secret Sword, but I'm going to stay in. And the reason being is I think he's going to try to catch me over predicting, um, because it is a 50-50, and it seems plausible enough to me that he would do that. Um, because, uh, he can't really take on Metagross that well, so I'm gonna click Secret Sword, yeah, and, like, Ferrothorn is his way of beating Metagross, he does make the crap, 
Will this 2 it KO? That's not going to 2 it KO. That's lame. Um, I'm going to stay in and click Secret Sword. Because um, I think he's either going to SD. If he SDs here, I've been essentially given a second chance. I get a crit. So he goes for the EQ. Ugh, I lost. That's unfortunate. Uh, I can go into my Metagross right here. Um, and I think I have to get a attack raise on this Meteor Mash to have a chance to win. Um, and then I have to like maybe flinch him once. I don't know. A uh, very, very good game though. I played like trash towards the end, but um, hopefully you guys did enjoy attack raise. Oh, it's, like, it's fine. Um, I have gotten pretty lucky with crits over the past couple of turns. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that's why Expert Belt Keldeo is a good Pokemon, and that's why Sub Calm Mind is very, very good. Although, uh, it was definitely nice to have the firepower for stuff like Latios and stuff like Manaphy, so I don't think I can really discount that too much. Um, too much, too much. Uh, he also doesn't know my last move. Could be Hammer Arm. Hopefully, he just thinks it's Hammer Arm and clicks that X button. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Um, Right here, I'm gonna go for the go hammer arm. <laughs> I wish, I wish he a, I wish, or however you say your name. As I reveal earthquake, so he is pretty much safe. Uh, I'm gonna go for the meteor mash. If I get the attack raise, that's nice. Um, if not, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, fortunately, no. Um, so I get 26% off right there. I need the attack. I need the. Oh, that's nice. Um, I can go for the EQ right here. <laughs> yes. Um, no, but that's so strong. I gotta go for it again. I really have to hope he misses right here. Uh, he ends up just going for the protect, which is fine. Um, IDK TBH. I'm running Grass Knot. Um, do I go for the medium mash or the Zen head? But does it really matter? Uh, if I get a flinch, that'd be beautiful. So I'm gonna go for that. <laughs> it's such like a garbage play to go for Zen head, but trying to get the flinch. But if I get it, that'd be beautiful. Flinch? Nah, unfortunately, um, I do not get it. I will have another hit though, uh, so I can just. Yeah, I know. I thought Keld. Plus Focus Blast Thundy would be enough, but no, um, it's fine though. I can just go for the uh, Zen Headbutt right here. Hopefully I flinch him, and uh, <laughs> there's something called Switch it. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, so end up getting rid of that. So take that how you will. I gotta crit him with Earthquake like 50 times in order to win. <laughs> So, I'm just going to go for the EQ. I also don't have superpower, which is pretty lame. Um, so, but, you know, this is advice that, of course, you can garner. Um, like, like, this is advice you can, of course, take and uh, just, like, apply to... Um, you can take it and apply it to your team, and I think that's what's very helpful about Showdown at the end of the day. That even when you lose, there's people like this who may pop in your battle and uh, give you some critique on your battle and whatnot. So if you guys did enjoy this entire week of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Um, also, make sure to answer today's comment question to the video, which is, what are you guys planning on doing with your weekend? Um, I actually don't know what I have going on this weekend. Um, I'm probably going to sleep a lot and record. I'm really feeling Pokemon right now. So, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the cons. I'm, like, stressing this out here trying to type <laughs> the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.